Hello everyone, welcome to Hard West Scars of Freedom. Let's jump right into the campaign. So this is a turn-based game, similar to XCOM. Apparently we can't start here, we gotta start here. Alright, so hard times. Easy, medium, hard, combat injuries, Iron Man, did, did we get to pick? I don't know. Your journey on the Oregon Trail is halted by harsh realities in the West. You find a team, a temporary solace in gold trade, but bad times are just around the corner. Soon you'll be forced to make choices that will shape your destiny forever. Alright, well I guess start scenario. There we go. Well, I am veteran of the turn-based tactical genre, but I don't actually know, like, what's going on. Debuffs when damaged badly over time, they go stronger for the experience. Sure. We'll not worry about Iron Man. It's, again, I've never played this game. I'm just a turn-based person, that's all. So, let's see what this is all about, shall we? Hard West. The Old West was a hard place. The only thing in abundance was poverty and firearms. Combine alcohol and hopelessness with greed, envy, lust, and pride, and death is often the result. Crude cabins stood alone in the wilderness, cut off from the outside world. People knew to mind their own business, but isolated, they grew ignorant and superstitious. Some said the devil walked the earth said lost souls haunted and possessed the living, pushing them past the edge of sanity. In this harsh and dangerous country, no one had it easy, including your family. You were six years old when you traveled the Oregon Trail with your mother and father. Food was scarce, and your father, despite being a fine tracker and a crack shot, failed to find any game. It was as if every animal on the trail was spooked by some evil force. Your old man found a small village and tried to trade equipment for food. But this village was overrun by outlaws. They took your mother and decided to trade you and your father to white slavers. But he managed to break free, told you to hide, and set out to save her. Oops. You want to play the tutorial? Yes. I have no idea what I'm doing. Turn based. You start. Mission your father must rescue your mother who's been kidnapped by evil men. Only move within the range indicated, of course. Want us to move here. Using the same type of cover system, it looks like. Half cover. Full cover. Okay. Yeah. Cover! Half cover, full cover. Right. Always stay in cover. Well, not always, but you have... Detected an enemy. All characters marked with red shield icons are enemies. Makes sense. The enemy's out of cover, so your shot will be very effective. Shoot two. Fanning three, subdue one. Shoot two. 70%, four damage, no cover. Alright. You just you can switch different targets, okay. Cool. Most action require action points. Each character starts with two. She typically uses all remaining action points while your character's out of action points and turn starts. Hi. Gonna shoot back. Huh. Luck. Each character has a certain amount of luck. High luck protects from enemy shots, but when they miss, luck is depleted. All right, I'll go for the flank. And then fire again. 68. Nice. So you have two action points, eight HP. Reload often. That's just four, so you're, using, you're not using any like QWERTY keys, it's just number. And you can't double tap here. Just Q and E, rotate. 
Uh, we can't tell right now. Shadow spawn. You can even shoot them if you have obstructed line of fire. Some materials like cloth or foliage can be shot through. Ah, we know there's something over there. Shoot at the target with the active weapon, says outlaw. Nice. Enemy turn. That luck, though. You're out of luck or bound to be shot. You must take better cover. Use objects in the environment to create more effective cover. Oh, I see. What's about to happen here? Are we going to pop it up or something? Aha! Uh -huh. Ow. Plus 60 luck. Red bar shows your HP. Your luck is partially replenished when you're hit. You have several abilities at your disposal. Some abilities require luck. Fanning. Fire three shots. Okay. I... Alright. We hit him twice. That's it for the tutorial. You're on your own now. Cool. Well, I guess we should probably reload, but I'm not quite sure. Where, where's our next cover spot anyways? Right here? That's what it looks like. Okay, Q and E do, and then W, A, S, D. Fantastic. Go ahead and reload. I said reload with three, with, yeah, three, so we're five of six. Interesting. So, opening doors. Um, okay. No idea. Go ahead and reload with one round. There you go. So, I'm not sure what this is. What about up? Uh, it says it's on the bottom floor. And there's a little... No, indicator exists no matter what. I don't know. Go to the, the specific star, I guess. See if we can get it. She was nowhere to be found. Ah. You death. saw the box. What was in it? Death is commentating. That's interesting. The simple wooden box contained a head. Your mother's head. Afterwards, your father found one of the gunmen still alive. The dying man rambled on about some unholy obligation, about promises made by the devil himself, and the rewards they would find in hell. Well, that's a little gruesome, isn't it? Mission complete. If only your prospecting was lucky enough, you could get on the Oregon Trail again. You and your father were alive, but all your supplies were destroyed. No way you'd make it to Oregon now. Your father decided to stay put and build a life right there. Many years passed, and you grew up. You became a man. Two of you took over the ruined railroad company buildings and tried your hands at farming. Okay. Soil was dry, the land was dangerous, you spent ten long years scratching out an existence from the dirt. Now you were grown, you figured the two of you should try for the Oregon again. It's what mother would have wanted. Gold! Who would have thought they'd find it here? And just when you needed cash for your journey, time to strike it rich and get out of town before the outlaws and madmen showed up. They always do. Locations come available, ugly ditch. Masked man controlled all the gold mining. His henchman sold you a license, lets you run nine prospecting operations. Mine gold until your license runs out, huh? Neighbor's house, ugly ditch, and meadow. Can we zoom in and out? This is just all we got? Alright, well, it's way over here. Church. I wonder what the church is about. Huh. Let's go to the church first. We God may have been away on business, but Reverend Gervais had a reputation of being a miracle worker. For a price, he could heal the most serious ailments. Those with less cash could leave a tip on the offering box, granting them a place in his prayers for the day. 
the prayer offering at a surprisingly high price for something that might not have worked at all. That's okay, we don't need to worry about it. I guess we'll go to uh, the neighbor's house. Why not? Hello, neighbor. It looked like the nearby farmhouse was inhabited. You paid them a visit and turned out to be kind people. You exchanged pleasantries and the customary promises to help one another. More importantly, you met Florence, their beautiful, kind-hearted daughter. All you exchanged were a few glances, but you found yourself smitten. Not interested in prospecting themselves, the neighbors tipped you off about a couple promising spots. Damn mine. The day you first laid eyes on Florence, she was all you could think about. It wasn't just desire that she inspired in you. It was the way she saw the best in you, the way she made you feel. Let's go and head over the meadow first. What's this way? A young native woman with a basket picking flowers and carefully selecting herbs. Initially startled by your arrival, she then offered you healing herbs for sale. Um, sure. We're selling you some herbs, the young woman left. Three dried healing herbs. Alright, cool. Ugly ditch is the other thing we started with. Everyone said there was a placer. There was placer gold down a ditch, most of it was buried deep under hard rock. Huh. Well, go ahead and leave for now. What about Forge Shaft? Shaft been thoroughly explored in the hard rock depth, not much apart from that. Okay. Is there anything that's free, aside from the f one free option we have? It looks like it. That uh, will probably not be the case. Mine look like it's hard rock depth still untouched. There's probably gold down there. Collapsed mine. Heard about this place? A rich mine that collapsed years ago on top of a bunch of miners, bearing them alive. Their wives and children still decorate the entrance with flowers. Looks like you could squeeze in, maybe get some of the gold they found. Might not be the smartest thing, but why not? As you reach the first opening, you found a skeleton with its legs crushed under a boulder. We got a blood-stained shirt. You wondered if he bled out before he died of thirst. His shirt, though stained, was still intact and very good quality. Go deeper. Next cavern was cramped, full of stale air. You found a little gold, but not much. We got 43 and sturdy shoes. Uh, we'll head onwards a little bit more. Whoa. We got gold, a relic, face mutilation. What happened? Wounded and weary, you eventually reached the end of the farthest tunnel, and there inside, a massive stash of gold. The air must have poisoned you, because as you went to pick it up, you hallucinated a tall man in a suit, smiling and smoking. As you turned to leave, he said, just so we're clear, that's mine. But you can borrow it a while. We got face mutilation. It was all too much to head back to the surface. As you inched your way back to the sunlight, you heard a low rumbling all around you. you hurried, hands trembling, heavy drops of sweat rolling down your face. You had just emerged, blinking into the sunlight, when the mine collapsed behind you. Wow. Very good. And we actually didn't mine any gold. We didn't use our license, we just scavenged. What's this? Character screen? Is that I? That is I. We have a card screen as well. Boy, this game just gets more and more complicated, doesn't it? Alright, so dried healing herbs. Uh, medicinal plants, dried in hot air, grants healing over time. Bloodstained shirt, almost new, just stained with the blood a little here and there. Protects from crippling injuries. Nice. A little bit of cash, sturdy shoes, plus four movement. Wow. And a relic. Priceless relics have a soothing effect on all witnessing, excuse me, all witnessing their mindless destruction. Grants healing over time to allies in a radius. All right, what about shirt? Okay, shirt goes where the, the boots do, so that's father, okay. Well, what about Warren? I guess that's me, right? Don't have a gun, but you have a shirt. So there's that. Relic, ah. 
But you, you have face mutilation. A shot in the face so bad, Lady Luck turn. Even Lady Luck turns away. Minus one max HP. Minus 20 max luck. Ouch. Well, carry a relic. And then, I guess, dried healing herbs. Now, does that affect yourself? Does that say? To allies in a radius. It does not say whether or not it affects you. But you can carry the dried herbs. Oh, you can carry... Oh! Aha! Look at that. Very cool. Okay. What about father? Father's got nothing. No hand. Collect cards into poker hands for added bonuses. So we have cards. We have the King of Clubs. Ability Terror Passive. Nearby enemies panic. Plus four sight. What's that? Ten of spades. Ricochet. Plus five aim. Requires 20 luck. Well, that's interesting. Do we have to drag? There we go. Alright, and then... Yeah, nearby enemies panic. Cool. Alright, that's different. It could be good. It could be very good. For now, we have all that we have. Uh, we're just using everything that we have. Uh, but I think for now, guys... I hope this face mutilation thing goes away. Because, again, if there's that... That injury thing they're talking about, the combat injuries, then you'll be stronger for it afterwards. So, uh, maybe this face mutilation will make him stronger in the future. Interesting that it happened in the cavern that was maybe empty, maybe not. We don't know yet. Don't know what heat is. There's no tooltip what heat is. Doesn't say. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe it's just like, uh, heat is in, like, criminal perhaps. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, we're just going to go ahead and stop there. And we will continue going to these different places next time, guys. So thanks for watching. If you... Whoa. Oh. Oh. You can just go wherever. Oh, that changes lots of things. Now, doesn't it? Because there's a, a building out here. There's a building right there. And there's a building right here. And an abandoned building over here. And, and just like well, what is this? Doesn't say it's anything. Maybe you can just do that to move around the map? I don't know. Whatever. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, thank you to Amphit for being a Patreon supporter. And I will see you all next time with more Hard West. As we continue this XCOM-esque game here. Let's see. What happens if we quit to menu? Does it save? It says load last checkpoint. What was last checkpoint? Okay, so it just saves right where you pop out. Cool. Alright. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And, uh, DFTBA.